Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. Excuse the mess behind I'm packing up after a trip. I just want to introduce today's video is actually made by Juan who's been in a few other videos when he visited me in Marbella. Really nice guy, fellow tennis nerd, hits a good ball as well. Beautiful one-handed backhand. And we talked about classic rackets and rackets we really enjoy that might not be so well known. And he has found an hi a hidden gem here, the Dunlop NT Tour. A racket I haven't tried myself, so I really urged him to, to record his own review here and I can put it on the channel. And I think it's nice to have some kind of community contributions sometimes. I do see Tennis Nerd a lot as a community. There are many, many Tennis Nerds out there. And big thanks to all of you for being a part of this community and supporting the channel and the, all the work I do. Tennis Nerd is about love for tennis overall, but I do have a strong connection to gear, as you know. I haven't tried this racket, but after watching and now editing this review, I'm quite uh, curious to try it. So uh, we'll see if you feel the same. If you have other rackets that you want me or Juan or someone else to dive into, uh, let me know in the comments what are your kind of hidden gems. That's it. The word over to Juan. Have a nice day. And don't forget to play some tennis. Hi, Jonas. And hi to the whole tennis nerd community. Uh, my name is Juan. I live in Hamburg in Germany. I'm originally from Chile, but I've been living here already for nine years, uh, more or less. Uh, and yeah, I'm here for doing a racket review of the Dunlop NT Tour. This is a racket that I will definitely consider as a hidden gem. The specs of the racket, this is a racket that is 97 square inches, a weight of 314 grams, a string pattern of 16 by 19, and strong balance of 316 millimeters. For, for you to have a, like a reference point, this racket is very similar to the Head Gravity Pro in terms of swing weight around 335 so it's not the easiest racket to to swing but it's not that extreme a uh, kind of racket that you cannot move through the air in my case i put a uh, four grams uh, of lead tape in the handle to make it a little bit more a uh, headlight and that worked out perfectly for me i could play with it without any problem and i could i could swing with uh, swing the racket very very well I tried this racket with three different setups, string setups, but in the end I, I ended up uh, playing the best with a hybrid of two polys, head Lynx Tour and Signum Pro Firestone, which is a, 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 a hybrid that I really like. About the racket, this is a very flexy racket, it has a stiffness of 58, I mean not extremely flexy racket, but it, it's below 60, so it's considered like a flexible racket, it is therefore very unfriendly but the racket still feels very crisp which is something that doesn't happen with every flexible racket the, ra the racket has a, a good capacity of putting balls away like it has a decent amount of power and a great spin capacity uh, and it played well well from every area of the court like from the best line for serving backhand uh, forehand volleys uh, it was uh, uh, like an all-rounder good racket for, for, from my point of view. The sweet spot is not the biggest, but it's also not a very small one. I would say because of the 16 by 19 string pattern, it gives you a little bit more of uh, capacity of, of hitting the ball in, in the sweet spot of the racket. This is a very controlled, a very precise racket with a lot of feel. Uh, and one thing that I would definitely put into like description of the racket is that this is not a hollow feeling racket. We have been talking about rackets that feel kind of hollow. This is definitely not the case. And a very important aspect to mention is, a, is that this is a very stable racket. It feels very stable, like uh, even playing a uh, point sets, uh, like defending also the racket doesn't twist at all. This is something that stood out uh, for me very, very noticeable. Maybe the weakest aspect of the racket is the defensive game but this is something kind of normal for for this kind of players uh, stick like uh, rackets that oblige you to to be aggressive that take the initiative this is uh, one uh, one type of racket that put you into that direction of playing more aggressive so this is the the, the defensive part of the game is definitely not the strongest part of it for giving you another reference point, uh, comparing it to other rackets, I would say that it's similar to the PT57A, but with a little bit more power and spin capacity. Also similar to other rackets that I have had throughout the last couple of years, like the Fisher Pro Number no. 1, like a classic racket, and also the Prince Phantom, 
100X, which are very flexible rackets as well, but uh, that stand out in terms of feel. But this racket, particularly the NT Tour, has more power. I mean, I would say because of the higher swing weight, no? While I was doing the testing, I was alternating this racket with uh, another Dunlop racket that I had in my collection, which is the Dunlop, Dunlop 200G Muscle Wave, because I thought they could be similar. But I have to say that even using the same string setup, the NT Tour was, for my taste, better in every possible aspect of the of the game in every stroke in terms of stability in terms of feeling in terms of spin capacity power a uh, similar level of control much better than NT Tour so in a nutshell uh, to describe this racket this is a flexi racket but still kind of crisp super nice feeling a lot of control and a decent amount of power it is mostly a racket for advanced players, as I was saying before, with long strokes who give a lot of importance to feeling and connection to the ball. Something that I also consider very very important in a racket is uh, how the, the racket looks, and I think that this racket looks great with this combination of colors. And I, as a last comment, I, I had made the mistake in the past of selling rackets that I really liked and then I was regretting why did I sell it, but I, I'm a tennis nerd, I've been buying and selling rackets throughout the last couple of years like crazy. I, I think I, I have had like more than 50 rackets in the last three years. Uh, so, but I decided now that the rackets that I really like, I will just uh, stick to them and this is definitely the case for the NT Tour. I hope you have enjoyed this review, thanks for your time and as always, don't forget to play some tennis.